State Representative Carolyn Dykema was one of the few to thank the Sharon Timlin 5K Road Race Leadership Team and retired Fire Chief Ken Clark at the Chamber of Commerce annual holiday party. And so this is really a celebration of all of that and a celebration of individuals that also have played such strong roles in shaping the community over the years. And it's my pleasure and honor to be able to honor and recognize two of them here tonight. Casual commentary on the leadership role that our chief, Chief Clark, um, had played in really advancing the technical expertise that now is commonplace, but back before it was commonplace, when Hawkington had the marathon, the chief had the wisdom and the foresight to recognize that more safety and security was needed than kind of was traditional. And he did that because he cared so much about the community and he knew that the community needed to be safe. Recognize him for everything he does. For the citation and on behalf of the Massachusetts House. And we be it hereby known to all that the Massachusetts House of Representatives offers its sincerest congratulations to Kenneth Clark in recognition of receiving the Hopkinton Chamber of Commerce's 2016 Distinguished Service Award for your extraordinary contributions to the Hopkinton community. Deputy Chief William Miller and current Chief Stephen Slammon also had some words for Ken Clark. The only program that was in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts that was training firefighters how to deal with natural gas or propane fit fires. We didn't have any of this before. We do have it now. We have a state-of-the-art system at the academy. But it goes back to without Kenny and the Arthur Stewart days and the many people that put the time and effort into this, we wouldn't have it. So what are we saying? Gentleman gave us 44 years of his life away from his family. Marie, you know how that goes. It's a unique job. It's a unique business. You have to want to do it. They will help us. And the phone call goes to Ken. And he literally will leave his house and he'll come down. And that's how they're able to take care of this one child. And, and, I, and that's when I kind of realized the scope of you know, his impact to the community, his dedication. Um, you know, to say it's not just a job, um, he truly kind of exemplifies you know, giving your life to the community and community service. To his work, helped make Hockington a safer place to live and to work. Thank you for your loyalty, dedication, and devotion. Thanks, Chief. Want to come up with that? But uh, so I started at 15 and a half, and then at 22, I went on the job full time and, and spent like 38 years and a couple of months and retired last January. And, uh, and Hawkington to me is, I, I, you couldn't ask for a better community. I had a chance one time to go to Boston, and, and my chief at the time, Chief Stewart, was very well connected there. He said, You want to go? You're in? I said, My roots are in Hawkington. When you cut me, I still bleed green. Okay, and I stayed home at where my roots were, and I never regretted it one minute. And it's like uh, I've met a lot of great people on the road. I see Drew here, his name has been announced here, and I'm part of his CrossFit family. And we have a lot of fun there, and, and Mark's there. And, but uh, my fire department family and my town family, and, and with Norman's team at the town hall, was always a very, very special place. And, and still, when I get a chance, I'll jump in there and say hi to those people when they're not busy at a meeting or something like that. But uh, it's just about the community to me, and it was like, uh, it was never, in my, in my first chief, who was fantastic, Chief Stewart said to me, it's not about the individual, it's about the community first and then the organization. Tim Kilduff of the Hopkinton Chamber of Commerce presented the Distinguished Service Award to the Sharon Timlin 5K Road Race Leadership Team. What drives this event is not only Abby uh, and Dave uh, Kruger's commitment to the cause, but the fact that they've been able to transfer that emotion to a group of leaders that put on this phenomenal road race. And I can tell you, there is not, there is not another road race like this anywhere in this region and probably anywhere in New England. The Hopkins and Chamber of Commerce Board of Directors is pleased to recognize the contributions made by Abby Ro Rosenberg and this distinguished team to the heartwarming success of the Sharon Timlin 5K Road Race, 
While raising funds for ALS research, the event contributes to Hopkinton's reputation as a caring and generous community. Um, we have a lot of gratitude for the long-standing support of the town of Hopkinton, the many local businesses that support us, and the wonderful community of Hopkinton. Furthermore, to be honored alongside retired fire chief, our hero, Ken Clark, um, who has helped us so much over the last 14 years with this event is very humbling to us, so thank you. Um, coincidentally, our team has been discussing how to better engage the Hopkinton business community. So when we were told of this award, it was an affirmation that we're right on track, and we welcome the invaluable involvement of our business community, and we hope to continue expanding those relationships.